you fancy getting something different from your pedals, you can get some pretty otherworldly sounds by making them all self-oscillate and then combining them in different ways, kind of like you might do with an old analog modular synth and it's got that analog synth type sound as well. Really great if you want to turn some heads and surprise some people at your next gig or rehearsal or if you just want to have fun experimenting with using pedals in a more unorthodox kind of way. To make your pedals self-oscillate like this, if you have an amp with just a standard single input then you just need a simple Y splitter connection. I'll put a link to one down in the description. If you have two inputs on your amp already, then you won't need one. All you need to do is connect one of those amp inputs into the input on your pedals, and then connect the output from your pedals into the other amp input. So there's no guitar connected, it's nothing but your pedals in a loop. If you're using the Y splitter, then you do the same thing, but use the inputs on the Y splitter. An ideal setup is a vintage style amp like this deluxe reverb, where you've got two separate channels, both with two inputs each. So you could use one channel for your crazy self-oscillating pedal noises, and you can use the second channel for your standard guitar input. Uh, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that when you do this setup with the self-oscillating pedals, start with the volume really low and gradually bring it up. Um, the signal levels that can be generated from self-oscillation are really loud, so if you crank that volume, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you could blow a speaker or something like that. You know, you don't want to do that. Uh, try this at your own risk you have been warned. Different pedals can react in totally different ways to this setup, but as far as setting a foundation for things, I'd like to start with gain pedals because they normally create quite a steady pitched sound that you can work with. Uh, fuzz pedals are particularly good because they have nice colorful synth-like sounds to them. Uh, overdrive pedals are fine as well, but the sound tends to be a little bit more plain. It's a little bit more like just a standard sine wave. Uh, you can normally change the pitch and the tone of the sound by messing with the control a bit. Another useful type of game pedal for this is a graphic EQ because each frequency will create a different pitch and you can combine pitches to kind of fine tune to a more specific pitch. You can combine gain pedals to switch between different pitches and different combinations will create new pitches. So you can start to create glitchy and weird melodies and bass lines and stuff like that. The next most interesting pedal to do this with is probably modulation pedals. You can get vibrato, mad siren sounds, uh, crazy Atari Space Invaders type stuff. Um, I really like the Boss Phaser for doing this because there's a particular setting on it which glitches between higher and lower frequencies, which is pretty good fun. Delay is good too. I found delay most useful when I was putting it near the end of the signal chain and used in more of a conventional way. Uh, it can create a more rhythmic aspect to the sound as well as uh, self-oscillating within itself as well, which is pretty interesting. A nice simple setup is to put a drive pedal straight into a delay pedal. And just that simple setup, you can get quite a range of sounds. Uh, you don't need you know, tons of spare pedals lying around to be able to have a go at this.
Most other types of pedals that I tried with this either didn't do anything at all or just weren't particularly interesting or musical sounding. I think a lot of pedals sound best with this if you place them near the end of the signal chain and just use them in their more conventional way. Uh, so reverb will add a nice sense of space, uh, tremolo uh, creates interesting rhythms. Um, here's a bigger chain of pedals that I was messing around with some of that stuff with. So far I've just been playing the pedals on their own without any context. I'll play them over a simple chord progression and this is a way that you could use this setup for a sort of off the wall noise collage type solo thing. Um, if you found this video useful think about liking the video and maybe subscribing to the channel.